Hi, I'm Rachel Bilson, and this is my 10-minute beauty routine. I always start with clean hands. I'm sort of a germaphobe, and like before the pandemic, I've been that way. So anyway, I really love this emu because it's aerosol. Oh god, it's not a, you gotta unlock it. And you spray it, and it smells really good. Okay, so I clean my hands first. Very important. I always moisturize. I really, really love the Goop Jeans moisturizer. I have really sensitive skin, I have really dry skin, and this is just, it really works for me. It's thick and it doesn't break me out, which is also very important. I always start up here. <laughs> I know this is kind of silly, but this is just what I do. There's a little everywhere. You know the one thing that I never did that I realized I really need to do is my neck. I never remember to do my neck. I'm gonna do that now. Okay, I feel pretty moisturized, which is good. Then, need a little under eye action. Today, Dr. Barbara Sturm. I really like her stuff. Uh, I'm gonna use her eye cream. I usually need a little bit more under my eyes. They get dry pretty easily, especially when you have to put makeup on. You need to make sure you got this going on underneath. Okay, oh, I feel so dewy. This is great. It's a little faded, <laughs> had it a while. I'm gonna use this, Ilya. It's the Super Serum Skin Tint. It has SPF 40. I always forget to put sunscreen on and I know that's one of the most important things. And I just do like a little bit. Sometimes I actually mix this with my moisturizer just to give it an even lighter look which I like to do, but it does make me pretty shiny. So you need a good setting powder, which we will get to shortly. Okay, so Bayo Bear Tint. I love this brand so much. It's super natural. And when they came out with a tint, I'm a sucker for a tint. I like putting it on my cheeks, but I really like putting it on my lips too. So I usually use my fingers to do everything. That's why I use my sanitizer to start off with. You should wash your hands too. So you put a little bit just to give a little something, but not a lot. Just underneath to kind of highlight your cheeks. What I really like to do with any cheek color of any kind is put it on my lids. I'm a big fan of that. So another thing, and I'm going a little out of order because my lips are always dry. My favorite thing of all time for 30 years is Dr. Pepper Lip Smackers. Now, I've recently learned that they have discontinued Dr. Pepper. This is very tragic. Uh, I scoured the internet. I got my hands on a few and they are locked in a vault in my bedroom because I can never be without them. But there are things that are similar and I'm trying out a lot of other options to see what can best battle this. But as for now, I still have it, so I'm gonna use it. And it just gives a little bit of color. And for some reason, it's like one of the only lip products that really moisturize my lips. And it's Lip Smackers. Who would have thought it? I usually go to mascara. Now, the reason I go to mascara is because I don't only go to mascara once. I start with it, and I really love Charlotte Tilbury's um, Pillow Talk is my favorite. And I love that you can buy it in this little mini travel size because I like to throw it in my purse. So then I do mascara. I really like to get in there. I like a lot of mascara. So that's why I don't do it just once. Now, I won't show you again, but when I'm done with everything, one of the last things I do is probably two more coats of mascara. I really like mascara. Okay, next I'm going to powder. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm using NARS, their translucent setting powder. I like it light, I don't like to do too much, and so I really love NARS because of that. It's just gonna get rid of shine and not really have much coverage, which is what I'm going for. And not too much, I still like a little dewiness, a little freshness. Okay, this is a little bit more of an elevated look because I wouldn't normally 
do foundation. I don't wear it on my every day, but this is just like a little step up. Like maybe I'm meeting a friend for dinner or I have a lunch meeting or something like that. This would just be like a little bit further than what I do in my every day. Cause every day is usually Dr. Pepper lip smackers and mascara, if anything. Next, I'm going to work with bronzer. I have Hourglass bronzer. It's really pretty because it has a little bit of a shimmer and I'm gonna use a very large brush to cover a lot of ground. And I usually just, I like to bronze in the cheekbone, cheek, is that my bone? I don't know, you know, this area. <laughs> Over here, I do a little bit up here, here, just to make you look a little sun-kissed. I am a big, big fan of eyeliner. Here's something I'm gonna let you in on, a little secret. I hate taking off my eye makeup. A lot of the times I will wash my face. I really like makeup remover wipes. I know, I'm sorry. And I take off my makeup, a washcloth, take off my makeup, but I don't usually take off my mascara or my eyeliner. So when I wake up, I still have a little makeup on. That's why I have a little eyeliner on right now still, but I'm gonna use this eyeliner by Mario. I love black. I love a black eyeliner. I like going in my eye, which is the waterline, I guess you would call it. And it makes my eyes pop a little more. So this is a staple for me. Always has been, love black eyeliner. And if you see me, it's probably on. Another trick that I have learned over the years is if you wanna put the eyeliner actually up in your waterline, or your eyelashes are, it makes it look like you have fuller lashes and makes your eye pop even more. So that's a little insider tip for you. Okay, so I have my face on. I always, no matter what, finish with some sort of spray, like a setting spray. It doesn't have to actually be labeled a setting spray. I love Osea, I love this line so much. And this is their Sea Minerals Mist. It smells good, you feel refreshed. So I always add a spritz as my very last thing. And I have to fan it because sometimes if it gets in my eyes, it makes my eyes water. <laughs> so I give myself a little self fan. Okay. And that is that, the Osea. Their line, everything by them is so good and natural and I love it. It's a family owned business. That is my 10 minute beauty routine. Thanks so much for watching my 10 minute beauty routine. Hopefully, maybe there were some things in there that were useful or just fun to watch. That sounds so weird. But anyway, thanks for watching and see you soon.